Good morning, folks. We've got your usual sun and top science news of the day, but a number of geophysical events to run down as well. We are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun was pretty quiet. Coronal hole on the north polar crown, bright areas on the north are starting to build tiny sunspots beneath them, and while it is not major, we did get an intensification of the solar wind the last few hours, the edge of a weak coronal hole stream. Also need to keep eyeing the filaments as one jumped off the far side, just over the incoming limb. As Jupiter enters solar opposition this week, expect the sun to wake back up. And veteran observers know that in the week to 10 days before the alignment, we get an uptick in quakes. This is the most extreme uptick in seismic activity in months, and in terms of just the last day. The big ones were an aftershock of the previous big one in Alaska, and of course, the big Haiti quake. A complete disaster. Hundreds are dead, and the aftershocks are not helping the rescue efforts. FYI for those modeling. Two low-velocity zone rumbles in the days leading up to the quake. We obviously had Fred and, soon, Tropical Storm Grace running up the atmospheric circuit flow over the quake zone. And just for some icing on the cake, there's the OLR anomaly. As negative a long wave signature as you can have on that chart, right over the quake. Learn about all the modeling over at QuakeWatch.net. All the pre-earthquake signals from the sun to the atmosphere to the deep blood echo earthquakes. We're not done with earthquake news today, but we're moving on right now to China. Huge flood in the desert. In an extremely rare event, one of their main rivers in China started flowing backwards. They had a number of insane snowfalls in both June and July. Recap video linked in your list today. The flooding in Turkey is worse than it's ever been on record in that area, and sadly, the shifts in atmospheric patterns and those we expect make this much more likely of an event from now on. And to piggyback on the hundreds of you commenting about lightning being somewhere in between amazing and out of control, we got our own dose of that in Colorado last night, and obviously so did a lot of you as well. This is GO16 with a lightning overlay over the United States. Back to earthquake news, they've nailed the highest risk from a break at Cascadia. They say the most catastrophic of the tsunamis would occur from a quake of at least magnitude 8.5, located off the coast of Oregon, where the water lift would not only have the highest potential, but the concave coastline funnels the water higher and into the inlets, whether small or big like the Columbia River to Portland. And yes, that river can go back the other way. We got another fantastic look at the importance of the BY and the solar wind, the magnetic field within the heliospheric current sheet and solar wind plasma. It dynamically determines the ionospheric and neutral patterns of the stratosphere and above, even reversing the dust-dawn asymmetries. This is always important for three reasons. Anything relating to how space weather works helps us to predict solar storms. The investigations into the subtle solar wind dynamic forcing is the number one thing missing from climate models. And lastly, everything true at this scale is true at the galactic scale, when the Milky Way current sheet cyclically hits our sun. Now last but not least, the waters below. Folks, it's well established that there's water throughout the crust. There's more than an entire ocean's worth of water locked in the rocks deep into the mantle. But today, we watch the upper groundwater, that is in the crust, 2 to 10 kilometers deep, causing that category to leap over the ice sheets as the largest continental water reserve on the planet. This is an astounding revelation and speaks to the conductivity of the crust, the low velocity zone locking it to the mantle. And if you picture the ice sheets and all the oceans, now picture more than double that amount beneath our feet. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.